All right, welcome to Raz's Outdoor Experience. Where is he? There's a big Raz. Here's the next generation little Raz. And we're gonna do a hybrid hunt today. Uh, we're gonna sit for the morning, and then we're gonna go and drive all the land that we hunt later in the morning. So how we're gonna do this is I'm sitting closest to the house if my cousin Amanda doesn't come out and I'm going to be driving up and then to the west and then to the south and then my dad's going to come across the entire middle of the field. He loves that. He's really excited about it and he's going to come straight south again and then my cousin's husband Jamie is going to drive straight south and we're going to try to push all those deer to posters here Uncle Paul and Troy, the other neighbor, is going to come off of his adjacent property. And then Zach is going to be posting in a truck. So all of us will be up in the air and safe. So yeah, let's do it. Oh, I didn't, I didn't grab a seat dish, but that's okay. All right, so I'm up in the stand now, and uh, I got three shooting lanes out of this stand. One to the west, one to the south, one to the east. I've sat in the stand before, had luck. It's midway through the rifle season, so I can't really say if the deer are moving naturally or not. More naturally than uh, the second day of the season. Second day of the season, they're just running for their lives, not following wind, not patterning in any other, in any way. So, yeah, let's sit and then move on with our drive and see what we can get. It is November 22nd, 2018, Thanksgiving. We're in central Wisconsin, rifle hunting for whitetail deer. It's mid-rifle season. We hunted earlier in the week. Um, other people had some luck. So that's good, but like I said before, we're going to be making a drive today through the field to the west of me, and we're going to move south through that open field. But it's 22 degrees, it's cold and damp. Uh, this area of the state holds a lot of numbers, large quantity of deer, but the driftless area and uh, farther south and north has bigger bucks. So. are harvesting meat and hoping for a big buck too. So, see how we can do. Alright, so being in the woods, it's a little bit more close quartered. Um, what I generally do is I back my scope all the way down. This is a 3x9 scope. I back it all the way down to 3, so it's real easy to raise up, get the scope on that deer, make a quick decision. It's not hard to find that deer within your viewfinder, and you can make an effective shot. In a field, I crank it up to about 6 or 7, because Usually you see the deer coming from a long ways away and you want to be able to make that long shot. So I'm thinking for this drive that we're going to make, the wind is out of the south, southeast. I don't know how much the wind's going to play a factor with this, but what we're hoping is that there's deer bedded down in the field around some of the thickets. There's a lot of thick brush out in the middle of this 80 acres of open field. And we're hoping as we walk by we can kick some of these up and push them to our posters so then they can make a safe shot on these deer and us as drivers will be out of the way. So this is a well orchestrated operation. This is not random at all. We want to be safe. So one thing I'm not complaining about is the lack of wind. This is comfortable. Usually I'm out in the middle of that field 
I mean the middle. 17 feet up in the air, freezing my you know what off, opening morning. There's one morning we had like 40 mile an hour winds. I think we all lasted till 10.30, and then the card deck came out. And that's where we stayed, in the shop. All right, so it's about 8.30 in the morning now. I haven't seen anything. It's kind of why we're doing a drive. We're hoping to pop some bedded deer up out of the, the cover. Since it is pretty cold and and damp, they're probably bedded down still. But anyway, I don't know. Jamie's gonna come pick me up and we're gonna walk together. I'm gonna walk straight west into the middle of the field, or the far end of the field. And he's gonna stay close and my dad's gonna be right down the middle. So for driving, I'm gonna keep you guys on the head cam. Because carrying this Sony is uh, a little difficult. All right, here comes Jamie. Let's go driving. All right, so we pushed one deer out to my dad. He got a, would be a six pointer, but one side's broken off, so it's like a four pointer. And uh, we're gonna push across the field now and uh, see if we can kick some up to our posters. So one deer down, let's go. I'm walking over like a Just finished our drive. We uh, we pushed two deer. We got one. We had a poster that had a decent sized buck. Would be a six pointer, but um, one of his antlers was broken off, so it had a, a nice rack on one side. We pushed a total. We pushed a total of 80 acres all the way down from north to south, through marsh, on top of ice, tall grass, brush, you name it, we walked through it. So uh, we got a shot at another doe that uh, we missed, but it was a hard shot. And that happens, you miss sometimes. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna, we're gonna take care of this buck. So we got venison, baby. We got backstrap steaks. Let's go. Okay, so we got one spike buck right here. Hard drive. We kicked up two deer, but just got one. Uh, so we got a tag filled here. So we're gonna clean him up, throw him in the trailer, and process him. So we just got done dressing the deer. And it turns out that my dad made a good shot on it, a vital shot, but it was shot right in the butt. So it's a good thing that we uh, took this deer out of its misery. Somebody had wounded it. So always make sure you're making clean shots because now the, the rear quarters are going to be sausage instead of steaks. So let's go hang them up. Okay, so it's processing time. We have our process that we do to hang it up, skin it out, and debone it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I would imagine we're gonna put it up on the rafter or it's good steer. So we got the deer hung up and now we're gonna skin it out and debone it.
So, here we go. End of day one, we had one six pointer that my dad shot. And I didn't see a thing, but we, we pushed the entire field. That was fun. And now we're gonna go celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna hunt again. We're gonna head home mid afternoon tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow morning, a monster buck decides to walk by the stand and uh, we can put the smack down on him. But until then, Happy Thanksgiving.